Part three, dudes. Part three. Farmland vibes. Oh, well, what do you know? Farm. So we've done this block. And we've done this block. Time to, uh... I mean, we can start at the top here. Let's see if this is worth a looting spot. We'll start at the top. And then try to rock all the farms. And then maybe down here as well. No, there's definitely no bullet drop at 80, but I think it's going to be farther than that. I think, like, the, the cat should be 125, somewhere around there. Okay, is this a worthy looting spot? First impressions say no. One of those stupid spots. I think we've seen a building like this, though. Yeah, this is definitely not a, a good looting spot. I don't know. My my guess is instead of just having empty space from base to farms, they filled it with this. I'm okay with that, man. It's better than nothing. But this is not going to be uh, not going to be the optimal spot to to land to try to loot up. Not much here, but at least it's something. It's better than nothing. I'll stand by that. Any actually playable buildings? Okay, play the roof here. Same thing over there as well, ladder. Some playable roofs. Uh, uh, nice terrain-based hardcover as well. You love to see that. Terrain-based hardcover. Do you not get points for knifing? Yeah, I, I get points. I'm just not knifing many. This is... Yeah, I mean, this is an Almazra warehouse. That you can easily get to the roof with. Holy. <clears throat> Movement's so smooth. That's another thing in this. Like, in uh, Modern Warfare 2, it was not enjoyable at all to run around in-game. Like, here, it just feels like a playground, man. I'm running around with a knife, killing zombies. I feel like I'm in fifth grade playing kickball in the uh in the soccer field, you know. Oh, this is a heck of a tractor right here, dudes. That'll hold its value for the next thirty five years, guaranteed. This is a lot more sparse than uh, the OG farmlands that we had. A lot more sparse. I do like the amount of space, though, I will say. I need to get 100 zombie kills and extract to get gold. I like this space. And then still, like, even though it is pretty sparse as far as the lack of, like, two, three, four-story buildings... I'm sure there'll be a fair amount of loot in these warehouses. You'll be able to wall bang it for sure. Can you play on top? Dang. And then even from ro like rotating, let's say you're in the warehouse, you got to work there. There's hardcover throughout the entire thing, dude. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting this. Hardcover throughout the entire... I just got turned around so hard. Hardcover to get from A to B so easily. These these little... Uh, this is dope. I love these things. Yeah, these are sick. Make for some pretty... No, they're going to take my karamba, dude. Makes for some uh, pretty sneaky rotations. Trench warfare, yeah. Straight up, though. I mean, that's that'll be super nice if you need to try to uh, flank a team. Okay, so this is what we've already explored. As far as, like, the uh, amazing buildings, this building, extremely strong, weak to airstrikes. This building, extremely strong, weak to this building. Um, Where was it? This building, very strong. This building and this building, very strong. Nothing over here was very playable. 
It, it looks like it was good for fighting, not good for holding. But like I said, that building right there to the right, one of the strongest buildings. But if you get airstruck, good luck. You have to jump. There's no like playable floor underneath. You have to jump to the other building right there, which that building is very strong to be fair. Um, let's see. Let's go all the way over here to Manor. This could be a solid spot. We're going all the way over there to Manor. Most wins for going for most wins. You have to play nothing but quads. I'm going for like top win percentage in all of the modes. It was top top five win percentage in all the modes. So we're going to try to win every single game we play like we always do. But I enjoy solos too much to be worried about number one overall. Uh -uh. And I don't have the hours as well, like 80, 90 hour weeks is what's required there. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna miss my, I'm gonna have to do a lot more running than just knifing, man. We'll just look at this. I mean, probably not a ton of loot here, obviously. Am I being aggroed? I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. Maybe certain parts of Millie base in uh, Verdansk kind of looks like it a little bit. Ooh, what's this? I think I remember seeing people fighting here in COD next. I like this. What's the roof look like? I don't like this. <laughs> this is much better, but obviously this wall, a good player lasers you, nades you out. Not very strong. This looks interesting to me. What's up, dude? These are going to be very unique buildings. Hopefully I can find a Karambit in here somewhere, dude. Fair amount of loot. Movement's so smooth. A zip. This only goes to... Okay. So they can't get roof here. This building looks solid, man. Not gonna lie. Is there a way to get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's no way up here. Is there... Hold on. We gotta figure out if we can get up there. Okay, you can. Okay. There's a way to roof then. From the wall. Which I think there's only one way to be fair, so you could just prox there. And no, there's ways everywhere up here. Yeah, there's ways everywhere. Never mind. This building not gonna be super defendable. There's just way too many ways up. But I mean an interesting one. And still one that you could maybe get off a couple shots if you know that you're alone. Ground a roof, zip. And I assume there's gonna be a way up here. Oh yeah. I mean, these roofs are definitely... Oh, there's actually a pool. That's kind of dope, dude. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I kind of like it. This is like a, this is a random thing. That doesn't really matter too much, but why not, you know? Why not? And a diving board? Imagine it. Does it does it actually have the diving board? No, that'd be sick if I had the diving board physics. That would be sick to have the diving board physics. Kind of cool though. Once again, neither of the buildings that I've seen so far are uh, very defendable, but they look like there's going to be an okay amount of loot and that uh, they'll be able to have some decent gunfights in them. I'm sure there's gonna be oh what do we have here dudes really 
Oh, I might as well. Oh, this is sick. What? Where's this lead to? Wow. That's pretty sick, dude. Where are we at? Oh, dang. Okay. Way over here. I'll explore that building next. If I aggroed all these zombies, I'm going to be annoyed. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. I like it. Unique. You know, this is, this is the, uh, the uniqueness that we were missing in the past couple years, really extremely unique Hold on let's vault. Okay. A bunch of goodies in there. You never know. They may add some sort of like vault thing in, uh, or like some code that you punch in who knows. With a water entrance, man. You'll love to see it. So much cover on this map, a ton. Oh, that's sick, man. That's sick. I like this place quite a bit, you know? I like this place quite a bit. It, it's, uh... I mean, the escape options that you have from there. If you make it to the water, you can go anywhere. That's dope. Definitely a fan. This is what I would like my uh, future mansion to look like one day. Right here. What do we got over here? Another just cave entrance. Okay. Fair enough. That vault. Going back upstairs. I, I really am, Da. I really am. Okay, so there's there is gonna be a fair amount of uh, of loot here. You're gonna be able to find a fast way to loot it though. And another pool. Heck yeah, dude! Another pool. Let's go. I mean, this this definitely gives me. Um, if you played PUBG Miramar, Hacienda. Hacienda vibes, 100% is what this reminds me of. Dope little outdoor kitchen. Love to see it. Pretty massive fridge, dude. My goodness. Where's the ways to second floor? We got one, two. Is there another one over here? Three. Okay. I'm counting in the middle as one. One little balconies is there a way what's this look like okay you can actually get access that's annoying Just some second story peaks here. I mean, second story is going to be near impossible to hold here. It's going to be fun to fight, but it's going to be ridiculously difficult to hold. Okay, where was the is this the only way to third floor i think it is no 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 there's two okay 
two ways to third and then to roof. So, I mean, you could pretty easily prox there. You'd have to be ready to fight right away. I don't think there's another way to the roof. This is going to be a pretty strong building if that's the case. Besides here, we have two ways up. Similar on both sides. What does this remind me of? No way in. This roof is going to be extremely strong, dude. My goodness. All you got to do is watch out for this, but I mean, how ballsy would they have to be to send that? And all you got, I mean, you could just double prox that far side. It's not that far away. This building is pretty dope. Uh, sight lines, we got everything, man. Be able to see anybody sneaking up on you. Got a pack a punch. How much? Rip. Okay, we got the uh, the balloons. Wait, what? Oh, you can't shoot them. Okay. Look at the amount of hardcover, man. It looks sick. Rotating through here, like people are still gonna be able to rotate on you. It's just being able, like pushing this building is gonna be super, super difficult. So it's gonna have to be coordinated both sides at the same time, or else it ain't happening. And maybe, oh wait, what? Might as well save that. Where was this from? Okay. So you're gonna. It's still possible to hold this in solos. You would just, I feel like you'd need to full commit to defending that side with your proxies. And I guess if, if Dead Silence exists, you'd have to go one and one and then literally just sit right here. You wouldn't be able to do much. So this is, this is a good duo spot. Duos and up. Solos is gonna be a little risky. I would still play it, don't get me wrong. One prox there, one prox there, and then play right here and just listen for it and hold it but you won't be able to like actually go out and defend a ton. I guess if that side, if it's like very clearly you're gonna have to rotate over here, maybe you could take away the clay or the procs from right there and put it over here. And we also have the scatter mines as well. <clears throat> you can't save, okay. We also have the scatter mines too. So you could, uh, you know, procs, procs, scatter, scatter. And then you could have some freedom to run around and kind of see what's going on. But this spot is going to be extremely strong. And I, I think it'll be a good looting spot as well. It looks like there's going to be a ton of loot. Okay, fair play. I like it. A uh, bunch of ways in that building as well. Yeah, exactly, Clove. The red zone for good spots. We will at some point. Right now, we're just doing the outsides for solo landing spots. <laughs> Still looking for a uh, Karamba, dude. I'm not seeing a ton of... Uh, loot in this building or really a reason to defend it i mean i guess if it's center zone zone five is it worth defending and can you get roof there's roof think lobby 150 again probably not Okay, so two ways up, two ladders, that's cool. And enough hardcover that you could definitely defend this, honestly. You just have to hope there's nobody up there. But other than that, you have high ground on everything near you. This is a defendable building. My goodness. Oh, well, hello. It's a defendable building for sure. I like them both. I like the major building, and if you have to, that one's playable. It's not like the strongest thing in the world, but it's playable. This is definitely wall bangable. 
Probably not advised. What's in here? My goodness. <clears throat> Let's get these outside. It's not really a ton to do here. A, a nice regain spot. Maybe if you can split loot and find enough here to uh, kind of contribute to uh, a loadie or something, but not really a solo landing spot that we're looking for. Roof access. Love it. Nice little hill. Let's just see what the terrain looks like over here. If, uh, if we're talking rotations into zone, what are we looking at? I do actually love rotations like this, especially with a sniper. If you have like the, uh, the long range advantage, being able to run along like crests, I guess is probably the best way to put it is super nice. That way, no matter which way I get shot at, there's somebody like right at that building. Boom. Hardcover. Somebody right at that wall. Boom. We're safe. Love it. So you'll see me rotating on this hill a fair amount, I'd imagine. Kind of nerve wracking, but at the same time. We're chilling. And now we can wrap back up to the farms. Let's do it. We kind of complete that. Right between all three. Love it. This thing does not have crazy damage. I really just want my karambit, dude, so I can knife all these things. Uh oh. Uh oh. <clears throat> what the? Gamers, man. Bro. These guys are annoying. Uh, I mean, okay, building, but you can't really hold roof there. Not really at all. Loot. Okay, amount. For a tiny little building, doesn't look bad. Roof access. Have we had a building like this? No, I don't think so. This looks like a DayZ building, dude. <laughs> Straight up a DayZ building. Wait, what? A thousand? Not even sure what that's for. I'm gonna need it for something else at some point. If I had warehouses like this, this was the building that I was kind of interested in. What do we got here? What's playable? I like a little market here. I like it. Is that what it's called? No, there's no name for it. Probably going to be an okay amount of loot. Where's the access to second floor is my question. Is it only up the middle? And is there... Okay, there's two. Got it. Nice. Bro. Oh. There's the second one. So really, there is only one way up. You prox right there. Okay, there's a way across. But I think that's the only way up. You could defend both of these all by yourself in solos with two proxies. My goodness. Let's see if this is the exact same. This thing's actually pretty dope then, dude. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. That's from second floor. Same thing on the inside though. Now I wonder if the other side has that. Did I skip it?
Yeah. Okay. So there's, this is a duo and up holding. Duos and up for sure. But still pretty dope that you can get to the top in multiple different ways, especially in this area of the map. I like it. Unique as well. Once again, it's another area of the map where we've never seen a building like that. Still looking for my karambit. <clears throat> All of the buildings here have been unique. <laughs> bye, bye. I like it. I like it. Just hardcover. I'll take it. Yeah, unique enough and hardcover. Oh, okay. Hamza is where we're at. So it does have a name. We can check out the rest of farms. Oh, wait, I didn't check out this. Hold on. I didn't check out this. Or did I? No, 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 I didn't. We'll do that and then we'll just head on up to farms and I pretty much checked out the rest of it. What do I think so far on this little bit that we've checked out? Oh, I didn't even check out the island, dude. Heck yeah. I mean, I, I love this area of the map. I love that house. It's defendable in solos, really. We'd have to go procs and scatter. But that's a pretty major part of the map if it is going to end down there. You have the advantage on everything. Within uh, the distances you can see. Sahur Ranch. Definitely looks like a ranch. That reminds me of Miramar. They have like stables in Miramar. <laughs> PUBG for sure, dude. A little uh, horse rink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is pretty sick, man. I, I like it. This is different. Hardcover using horse. Uh, it's not dressage. I forget the exact name of dressage is like where horses dance. It's pretty actually crazy watching it, but using that for hardcover. I'll take it. Still, the movement feels really, really good. <clears throat> oh, what's this building? They got me intrigued over here. Do I smoke cigars? No, I don't. I don't smoke. Obviously, not a ton of hardcover. I don't even. Can you get up on this hill? Moving here. Yeah, you can. Oh, hold on. Cancel that. This could be like some um, the far east hills. What? The far east hills on Verdansk, if you remember that? Obviously, a lot less hills here. What about there? No. Oh. So really, there's only a hill to fight this building, and then you're still, your whole back is exposed there. Not really the play. This place is extremely unique extremely unique that's kind of what i've been asking for you know you, we want we need unique pois and hardcover that's a all you really need for a war zone map and they have not gotten it right in an all-in-one yet but it's looking good so far probably enough loot here kind of looks like it Especially for like a solo spot, you might be able to get away with this, dude. You might be able to get away with this in solos, just simply because of this building, honestly. This building's dope. I see, uh, is this a uh, ground to roof? Yes, it is.
Trying to find another way to roof. Okay, there's two. Ground to, uh, ground to roofs. Um, not a lot of hardcover up here, but there's enough, honestly. Oh, I didn't see this. Still defendable. Where'd you come from? Still defendable in solos, though. Really. It's gonna be very difficult to sneak up on you. The chances of somebody being, like, way out here? Probably not very high, but still, like... It's pretty sick. I do kind of like the whole, like, horse racing theme. A zip all the way across. Oh, we gotta check out this island. But anyway, I'm, I'm a fan of this house for sure. It's not... It reminds me of, uh... On Caldera, shoot, what was the, uh, that spot, the uh, hotel. If you, if you, like, just cut off half of hotel, that's kind of what this is. It's the roof, at least. I believe we have, is that a ground to roof ladder? No, second, but you can easily get there from ground. That derelict stronghold is drawing in Let's go. From all four mm -hmm. corners. Clean house before more show up. Oh, wait, you can use that thing? Oh, heck yeah, dude. I wonder if that will be in the, uh... Dude, this straight up is like a dream house. You know? Like, you start over there at the massive one with all the different ins and outs. You got, like, a bunch of space over here. There should be a gun range up on the mountain. I'm gonna, I'm about to make this my home. Straight up. IRL and in-game one day. This is sick. How defendable is it? Obviously, you got to watch out for... You're only going to place something right there. And then up here, not much hardcover. This is the first time we've seen like something like this in the middle. Like a little raft. Imagine. Imagine. Resort, thank you. Not, yeah, not hotel resort. Good call. The water is very blue. You'll probably be able to shoot or see people very easily. They got a helipad? Oh, dog. <clears throat> oh, snap. Didn't even see this house. This might be my favorite area of the game, just as far as, uh, like, the vibes that it gives you and how unique it is that I've seen so far. This is sick. No way there's a basement. And nowhere to leave or okay, okay, okay. Yeah, hands hands down, this is like my favorite area of the map that I've seen so far. This is so sick. I'm trying to figure out if I can get up second floor there. So only way up to second is up here. Easily defendable then if that's the case. Only one way up. Obviously not strong compared to that building. Two ways, two ways. And then... Okay. Probably easy to hear that if that sounds is in the game especially. But this, this will give you enough hardcover for pretty much everything that you need and you can still very easily get into... Okay, have fun, dudes. Still very easily jump down into the house if you get airstruck. So this place is actually solid. Hard to get snuck up on. You can lay down and not be shot from there. If they go on the roof there, let's see. Yeah, they're going to be able to smoke you if they make it around to that, which they definitely could. It's So this house is definitely not, like, unbeatable. Has its weaknesses. I didn't check out down here or even that, so let's do that real quick. This place is so dope, dude. Yeah, let's see. I probably wouldn't advise trying to hold this. There's no hard cover up here. Everything's probably wall bangable, I'd imagine.
should be able to get my karamba as well after I extract here in a little bit. Our balloon's gonna be in this map, yep. Boom. Uh, let's start ground floor here. So I don't... No, I did explore this map. This is the one with the indoor pool. Yeah, okay, we're good. Okay, let's head back. This is dope. Uh, so far, as far as like... Is it just as... The vibe that the parts of the map gives you? This one's hands down my favorite, dude. So dope. So dope. It could be kind of like a hot drop as well. Oh, we're going to be smoking kids out of this thing, dude. Can I, uh... Yes. Oh, this thing is dope. Please tell me this is going to be in Warzone. Please tell me. The buildings here aren't crazy, but I just kind of like the uh, change in elevation. It's just like the little drop. Fighting here is going to be sick. If somebody has to rotate towards you, I mean, up there obviously will be strong, but so will right here. This building looks pretty cool. Ground to roof. Not very strong if uh, there's anybody behind you, obviously, but my goodness, dudes, chill out, man. What's, the, what's this look like in here? Defendable third floor. Is there any way to hop in here? Oh, yeah. So this is not necessarily the most defendable building, but it's a kind of cool one regardless. We've had buildings like this, right? At least that we've explored so far today. There's got to be a second floor. How do we get there? What? What am I missing? Is it right here? Yeah. Nerds. Where's the way to the roof? Gotta be here. What? Oh, dur. Sick. These buildings, like fighting here, this is gonna be a, a place I feel like you might wanna rotate, th or not really hold. Maybe a loot. You could probably loot here and get more than enough. We got a solid looting spot, I'd say. Where's the uh, stairs? Okay. Really? Fine. Second floor playable. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My bad. <laughs> Why is there a level two way over here? Unique building though. I mean, that's kind of what we're looking for right now. Just trying to find out if the buildings are unique. Building is definitely unique. I have not seen one like that yet. Loot, loot. Another pretty unique one. I, like I said, I don't think we've seen one like this. Definitely not. Where's the way up? There's got to be a way up. Bro, what in the world did I do? Where is it? Here we go. Yeah, definitely not holding this. Is this the only way to this roof as well? That's kind of cool. 
no ladder you gotta jump from another one. Oh wait no you can get it here easy nice okay a couple different ways every single building that i've been in uh this town though is is unique there's not a comparable one that i've explored or in a previous war zone either so here's stairs Pretty sick, dudes. Pretty sick. So the worst thing that like in an area like this, it's this is a, probably a pretty solid landing spot. Probably not really solo so much, but more of like a duos, trios. There's gonna be plenty of loot here, most likely to get everything that you need. The worst thing they could have done with a spot like this would be to just copy and paste previous buildings that we've had and just send them in. I haven't seen a single one from a, uh, a previous war zone. Every single building is unique. Gives it a, a super cool vibe that you're not really used to. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Ow. All the buildings are remakes? What do you mean? I I haven't seen a single one that looks like a remake. I mean, yeah, you could say like these single story shacks, sure, but all of the ones up there, not a single remake. This, very unique. We haven't had one like this. That one, okay, here's the first one. This is the first one that is like similar to an El Mazra building, but it has a slightly different layout. Instead of, uh, you got the access to the roof from the second floor and ground that this is the first one that we've had a similar layout i guess that one as well so these two other than that all going this way all south all unique one or two small ones like little one-story shacks that's fair <clears throat> I, I am impressed about the amount of unique buildings though. There's not a ton of recycled stuff. Which they could have definitely easily done. Not a ton of recycled. Why can't they? There are um, fire station buildings kicks. There are fire station buildings. Um, this was the last part of farms that I needed to explore. Kind of gives me Daisy vibes, honestly. This last part, or this part right here, Daisy vibes for sure. Hardcover everywhere. Love it, love it. I was ready for that to blow up in my face. Uh, I can't explore inside that, but I can go up. Oh. See ya. Okay, so you guys vote. Should we go to... Uh, the resort area or should we check out the above power area where should we go south or east south or east next one i mean we're pretty much like right down the middle resort and call there i did too pretty much right down the middle here i'm down for resort then this uh this stuff on the outside of the map here is just always a better um your trailer what Better to have something than nothing. I like this as well. Once again, better to have something than nothing. At least there's hardcover along the coast. This shows that, I mean, they actually kind of know what they're doing here. Wait. Okay, good. Uh, 
This definitely reminds me of PUBG, dude. Should play horror games? No, dude, screw horror games. I don't even love horror movies. No, a little bit of hard cover on this, dude. You can definitely hold this down. Is this in? Moving here. Yeah, okay. Is that you're obviously weak from up there, but you could definitely make some plays out here. And then you still can rotate in. What? Are they throwing stuff at me or that's just waves? It's supposed to be wave sound, I think. Love it. Love it. This is so nice, dude. Ever play Blackout? Oh, I grinded Blackout. When I stopped playing Blackout, I was number one for solo wins and number seven for overall wins. So I, I grinded Blackout. I just felt like they didn't know how to evolve the game very well. Like the end circles were always kind of in a similar spot and then the map didn't change um, drastically enough when they added the things that they did until later on into the seasons. So I just kind of lost interest and went back to PUBG. But it was Blackout was some of the most fun I've ever had gaming for like the first like what four, five, six months. Unbelievably enjoyable. Unbelievably enjoyable. I like this little spot of uh, resort here. Once again, just hardcover everywhere. That's all you can really ask for. I guess I'm getting my 100 kills. My goodness. Turbine and circles. That's what I'm saying. Like they should have added um i think around the turbine area eventually they added uh like a whole city underground over there that should have been done almost immediately because the turbine end circles that should have been the first i think addition to the map that they had uh, then it would have been a lot better because the turbine end circles were if, unless you're not on top of a turbine or you don't have high ground and it's kind of like spread out it's very predictable where people are going to come from okay here we go. On this part of the map, I, was, I just, I love the amount of hardcover everywhere, dude. I love it. That's one of the biggest takeaways that you can say over and over and over again. Hardcover to hardcover. We don't need eight smokes. We need one. Toss it there. Somebody's up there shooting at you. Now we have hardcover here. Put a little bit of cover fire down. Hardcover here. Hardcover here. And now it's anyone's game. Same thing. Somebody up there. Where would I plot my my route? I mean, you could go quite a few different ways, but hardcover, one smoke here, hardcover, hardcover, boom, anyone's a game. And then working in here, I mean, you can go anywhere. Just pretending somebody's up there the entire time. One smoke there, but don't even need it really, unless they got like God tier shots, they're probably not downing you. This is that uh, one map, isn't it? I forget the name of it, but this is uh, one of the OG maps. Love this map, dude. So many kills down this tunnel. People sitting on top of this stupid thing. <laughs> bomb site was where? Right there? I think the bomb site was right here, if I remember correctly. I think so remember planting it here and then running all the way over here and like defending it obviously it looks a little bit different over there but <sighs> all unique all unique areas obviously you're gonna be a little uh nervous about people sitting in corners on this spot but with a double ttk it's not gonna be as big of a deal as it could be didn't mean to do that Regardless, though, I, I very much enjoy that map, the OG map, and this area. It's pretty sick. Now, resort for one of the more detailed POIs. This is a ground war map, so people have explored this quite a bit. Uh, no water. I think the kids say Sag, right? Kids say Sag. Is this the main way to enter? Let's see. 
Looks like it. Let's see what's over here. This is gonna be crazy to fight in, dude. Holy. Uh, yeah, towel about a week. Yeah, it was older, but was in my for 2019. Okay, hard hat. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to be going for a win percentage 20. So if we're going for number one overall requires you to just play nothing but quads. And I enjoy solos and stuff. So we're going to go for probably top 10, I would say, but top five in each category for win percentage is the goal. So basically try to win every single game. Try to figure out the best ways to win in each potential game mode. Yeah, I, I remember some of this from uh, Ground War. It's the side entrance. Yeah. Side entrance, you can take a roof. It's going to be such an advantage to know all the ins and outs day one, dude. Okay, I remember this all the way around. How many how many stairs are there i know there's a fair amount of zips from first okay here's another zip you can do a whole bunch from second floor yo 20 cents thank you for the year homie much love to you let's get it let's get it let's get it hopefully you're enjoying yourself enjoying your week we got one week until an enjoyable battle royale is out, man. Let's go. Second floor is pretty much the key to this, dude. Holy. I think there's four ways to the roof from second floor. Which is pretty insane. There's a balloon. I remember the roof as well. There's, I mean, this roof. Let's just, let's just attempt to see if this can be held in quads real quick. Just attempt. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. Oh, absolutely, this can be held in quads. You can easily hold this in quads, actually. Easily. Eight. Okay. Yeah, this, this is holdable in quads, 100%. Everybody needs prox mines but it's holdable in quads. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. So if everybody has the two that they're responsible for, you can definitely hold it. That's not including balloons, but I mean, you're gonna assume everybody is up top shooting. And then the sight lines of this, my gosh, dude. <laughs> my gosh. This will definitely be any any circle that looks like this is definitely going to be a resort game for uh, a full quad. Looks extremely strong. There's nothing anybody's going to be able to do about it. Because obviously, like a roof this big, it doesn't matter how many times you get airstruck, you're chilling. You know, there must be multiple jump ups as well. No, no, no jump ups. There's just the zips outside zips inside zips and inside stairwells right here but you can defend all of that with prox mines there's no way to like jump up to the roof no way to jump up this is the new map yeah see a sailor did the crashing finally stop yeah i think i saw a jump though where i mean where there's not a playable floor under roof you know 
There's no way there's a jump up because there's not a playable floor under roof. If there was a playable floor right under, then sure. But that's the nearest that's the nearest playable floor. Definitely not a jump up. Rift's gonna be in the game? Uh I don't know, maybe. Yeah, this is going to be absolutely ridiculous in quads. I think we said that right off the rip, too. As soon as we saw this, we were just like, dog, this is going to be nuts. Uh -uh. But it is holdable, technically. Four ways up. Or, sorry, eight ways up. Eight prox mines. Throw in some scatters because... I mean, this is going to be better than hospital. The only downside is the eight ways up. Like I said, it's, te it's technically holdable in quads, but you have to be on top of your proximine placement and your comms have to be top tier to know how to hold it. Like they could send four different ones and you gotta know where they're all going off to be able to defend it and then kind of like shrink it. Like I would imagine if everything kind of goes south, you have to just go half of it. You you'll only be able to hold half. Give up the other half to somebody else and sit inside one of the like these two and kind of peek from the outsides maybe just make your plays from there what's up dude you need oh okay i was gonna i was gonna give him stuff but whatever so we explored that let's go to this back side love it for quads it's gonna be a blast dude day one we're definitely gonna win a game up there airport roof yeah 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 it's it's airport roof with quadruple the amount of ways up empty swimming pool are these tennis courts or what yep <laughs> i didn't even actually know i just kind of assumed i like it Obviously, you're not going to want to spend too much time in here, but could be crazy end game. Is there any way up from outside? Yeah, there is, right? Yep, right here. You can definitely. How far out can you go? That's my question. How far out? Moving here. Give me the true... That's really not that far, though. It's not that far out. Bro. It's not like you can be, like, PUBG style where you're unseeable. But that's enough space to make a play around if you, if you absolutely need to. It's enough space. A good middle ground. Bro. What do we got here? A death sentence? <laughs> That's what we have here. <clears throat> Probably the same thing, just death. Yep. So don't go in there. Now this spot is gonna be an interesting one. I need to make sure I get my 100 kills to get this thing gold. More death. Don't even need to check them. What my top loadout will be. I think that there's going to be a fair amount of good ones to use. As far as like mine, what I'm going to go in day one with, it's most likely going to be the cat and the base P. Or the base B. The base B, I believe, is going to be, like, the best gun in the game. The There's no weakness that it has. It has good range. It has ridiculous TTK. It has uh, even good body shot damage. And it's forgivable on top of it all because its fire rate is really, really fast. So it's not even like a Cold War AK type where it's super powerful, hits hard, but close range not very very forgiving it, this thing is forgiving at close range so it's gonna be tough to beat it really it's gonna be tough to beat it if i don't use the base b then i'll say the uh the mcw just give me an easy to use ar that you can laser everybody with and and you'll be fine which is the mcw as far as like the snipers said the um 
the cat is most likely going to be the best gun to use the best like one shot kill sniper i think it has the best range at like 125 meters i don't think there's another one that's as good as that maybe the victus but i'm not 100 sure we got to see um there could be some other solid ones too but i think that the cat will most likely be the best maybe a new one that they come out with in season one i think there is going to be a season one bolt action sniper that's usable we'll see um okay as far as these buildings go my goodness dude i, I feel like this is just a loot and get out of there as fast as possible you could have some decent fights here for sure but what kind of playable rooms do we have going down any sort of or even is there even any good loot here not really you would think that there would be uh some better stuff here i guess second floor all the way through is is the same thing on the first let's see mm, yeah okay so there's a there's an okay amount of loot you're just gonna run across the first and second floors and snag what you can it might be like if you're alone here on a quads everybody pick one see what you can get out of it i don't know we'll see what the loot looks like here but this is not a spot that i would want to be trapped in <laughs> not an enjoyable spot to be trapped in there's just so many ways up you can get attacked from everywhere not a not a very defendable spot but probably a decent looting spot is my best guess are these the same things or did i miss another one they really don't make good snipers anymore i mean we don't really know what it's going to be like they could be solid is this how the looting is going to look like in warzone 2 no this is just like the zombies looting Ooh, this looks unique. I mean, that is still, to be fair, even though I don't think it's going to be very good to play. It'll be a nightmare to play, actually. It looks decent for uh, looting, and it's unique at the same time. So, we'll take the good with the bad. Don't want to be able to hold every single building, I guess. Is there any way up? Is there a ladder from or uh, ground? Really? No ladder, which makes the building pretty strong. Playable second floor, jumpable second floor? Question mark. Not that I see. I don't think you can jump to second floor from this. Playable third, negative. Okay, this building is going to be pretty darn strong, honestly. Somebody most likely can get to the roof from there. But you're going to be tough to deal with up here. I would imagine if there is a team that's going to be annoying to a, a top resort team, this is going to be the building to play. Just with this head glitch right here. You don't really have to worry too much about getting down and finished either. Even if they down insta airstrike, most likely you can make it in here crawling. I think it'll be okay. This is a solid one for sure. The strongest out of any of the buildings around it. Like in solos, this is probably going to be the building that I would play. No way you're going to try to hold top resort in solos. Unless you're a maniac. Let's check out this. What is this train station? Daisy train station, basically. Looks like a broadcast station. Mm, just an office building, I guess. No, 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 it's a train station. Probably okay loot as well. How do we get to second? How do we get to second? One way up. I think makes it decently strong to hold then if that's the case oh never mind 
You're getting murked up here. Is there any way to get up here? Obviously, you're not strong from over there, and there is a zip from up there. The this spot, okay, the, yeah, this spot is not very good. Not one that you're gonna want to hold, just because you are weak to up the hill here to the east. And as soon as they get any damage, they can just send it, dude. All they got to do is get right here too. Trying to figure out if there's a way to uh, get around and get a different way through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Uh, excuse me? Oh, these are level two zombies. Gotcha. They kind of eat, dude. Not gonna lie. Okay, so that's definitely not the play. That can be the worst. Like you could definitely make it work in solos, but it's not optimal. The first building that I was at, much better. Playable second floor? Any jump ups? No, I don't think so. Two ways up, or is this one? Two. Two ways up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playable roof? Not really. I mean, you could lay down, but I'm sure somebody could probably see you from different angles. Probably wouldn't really play this one. You you definitely could, with especially in duos. The more people that you get, the easier it gets to hold down. That's for sure. I would I would give it like a C plus. How do I get down low here? What? So is this one of those that's like nothing on the first floor? Just loot? Looks like it. Or is this the uh, stair room? Nope, nothing first floor. A unique building though, I'll take it. Roof access from two different ways. Not very strong though, no hardcover at all. Is this a Almazra building? I don't think there's a way in here. There must be a jump up then. I mean, this building's the roof is playable, but it's not strong at all. All these are like the same height as well. Yeah, and this is more of like a regain spot. If you know there's a team top hotel, you might be able to get away with regaining out here, but none of the buildings are very strong or holdable. Doable, yeah, but optimal, definitely not. Is it a stronghold? That would make sense. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully they, uh, they listen with the stronghold thing, man. And hopefully black sites aren't in the game. If they are, hopefully they listen with that as well. Because the strongholds in Black Sight, unlimited UAV, like we were just talking about, it just kills the flow of a battle royale. Makes it much more unenjoyable to try to rotate through, knowing that there's a team that has a UAV for doing almost nothing 10 minutes before. Uh, uh. What color am I, are my eyes so you can picture them while I game? Blue. Don't get why it's getting called Warzone 3. This is why. There needs to be a way to separate the time periods of Warzone that we've had. I don't want to consider Warzone 2 the same game as Verdansk, right? They're two drastically different games. One was fun, one was the worst game ever made. This game, I'm gonna call it Warzone 3. I don't care if they don't want me to call it Warzone 3, that's what I'm gonna call it. Because there's no reason that I should have to be reminded of what Warzone 2 was when this is playable. So there just needs to be a way to very easily and efficiently separate the time periods that we've had while, um, it, you know, of, of the different war zones. That's it. 
<clears throat> that's it if i just say war zone then you have to be like well which war zone are, are we talking about you know verdance we're we talking about caldera are we talking about almaz so when people say Warzone 1, we know it's Verdansk or Caldera, and we can just say Warzone 1, Verdansk, or, or Verdansk. All you have to do is say Verdansk. Or we could say uh, Warzone 1, Caldera. If you talk about Warzone 2, everybody knows that you're talking about, you know, the most depressed you've ever been in your entire life. <clears throat> and then when we talk about Warzone 3, we get Urzikstan. So it's just a very easy way to distinguish between the time periods. This map sucks too. What? <laughs> This map is dope, dude. I think that this map is probably going to be better than Verdansk, honestly. It has a chance to be. It definitely has a chance to be. Okay, what are we entering? We went through all of Resort. Now we're entering Seaport. So this is Port. So I think BR-wise, this map looks just as good, if not better, than Verdansk. My gosh, dude. What the... Uh, Rebirth Island's coming back, yeah. Uh, uh. Dude, this 100% gives me PUBG vibes. If you if you remember PUBG, the uh, Miramar warehouses looks exactly like this. It'll definitely be holdable too, really. Definitely be holdable. It'll be difficult to do, but you can do it. Solid. Catwalk. Oh, uh, we've had buildings similar to that in Almazra. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's gonna play pretty darn good, dude. Especially with like the uh, the movement mechanics that we have, like. It's going to be good. There's almost no way that they mess it up. And we, we pretty much know, you can tell almost how it's going to play with, uh, with the movement and gun mechanics that we currently have. Masterpiece arms. Okay, copy paste okay i got it i got it pulled up at least activation hold my beer i mean really though it's just the gun mechanics and the map alone it's pretty easy to see we've had a this is a almazra warehouse yeah this is an almazra warehouse it's a little bit bigger and more detail inside but This is interesting. A little like barge. With just enough head or uh, head glitch to not get completely ripped apart as if you wanted to loot it. Can I swim? Yeah, you can swim. The farthest out you can go is right there so you can't go super super far out you know but it's enough to make some place hey <laughs> nice that's that's cool little addition little channel here super clear water these are holdable as far as like if you just need to fight <laughs> you know you can come in here play it up get back out there probably gonna want to ooh see this I like how the uh it, on the on land all of the buildings have so much detail and right here it looks like I'm playing at 480p <laughs> you know what I'm saying this is straight up a 400 a 480p uh detail of this boat but whatever I mean, here's your hide-and-seek spot, dude. This is it, Scoob. Much love, MBK. 
You as well, homie. <sighs> Can't wait to uh, to buy her back as well. Or I'll just get a different one. Maybe have a little bit more knowledge. Yeah, it hurt to do for sure. Seven days, man. Uh, this is going to be a heck of a spot, by the way. This is port, basically. Where's an extract spot, just so I know? Okay. This is going to be a heck of a spot. So much loot here. This might be one of the spots that we go day one straight up. This might be the spots we go day one. Or one of them, at least. What in the world's going on? Okay, we've explored all that. Uh, I'm going in here and exploring, I don't care. Oh. Get destroyed. Probably a decent amount of loot in here. I wonder if there's a roof. Defendable from first to second floor, definitely. There's no roof. Yeah, no roof. No. <laughs> Rip. Oh, wait, no, no, that's good. That's good. I can refill it. Boom. Is there a ladder from ground to roof? Yes, there is. Okay, okay, heck yeah. There is a roof. Well, bang gunplay is being tweaked. Well, from Warzone 2, it's going to be Warzone or Modern Warfare 3 stuff. Oh, this roof is dope. Okay. We found the uh, the main building here, that's for sure. There's no way up besides the outside ladder. Like, this building is going to be insane. And there's also enough space. Can I run the backside? Nice. Also enough space to uh, dodge all airstrikes. And there's one way up? My gosh, dude. Okay. So this is the building in Seaport District. It'll be the solo building. It'll be the duo building. It'll be the trio building. It'll be the quad one. A million percent. That one intrigues me, but this is ridiculously strong. Is there like a door or something that I'm missing? No, this is, this is it. Only one way up and it's a ladder. It's not even like it's a zip or something like that or a stairway. You're basically unpushable on this building straight, straight up. You're unpushable. If you need to survive in solos, even in solo quads, dude, no one's, no one's pushing this. Okay, well, we found the most broken building in all of port easily. Mark it down. The infested stronghold, beyond broken, unpushable. Literally unpushable. I don't know if I've ever seen a building like that before. I mean, obviously prison. Is there any building that we've had that is anywhere near as strong as that, where it's only one way up and a massive rooftop four stories up. I don't think so. Hackers pushing that no problem? No, they're not, dude. <laughs> you just sit there and pre-fire them uh, uh, on that with, with prox mines. There's nothing they can do. Prox mines, you down them most likely when they get to the top regardless. Airport, ATC, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a zip though, you know? That was a zip. A zip is at least quick, but at the same time, as soon as they take the zip with your double clays or more, depending on how many people, you immediately kill them anyway. Okay, let's get to the other side. Did I check this building? 
No, I didn't. First floor. Oh, okay. It's just open. There's no way to go to second floor on this. No. It looks like there should be a second floor, but there's not. Okay. I mean, it makes that even stronger. It means you can jump from this to the roof without having to worry about anybody but bottom floor. Same thing with this then. I was thinking that there was going to be a second floor or roof you had to worry about, but not the case. We'll check this out. I'll get to the uh, extraction a little bit. Interesting. This is the still connected to that first floor? No, no, it's separate. See this. Uh, okay, the entrance here. Is there only two floors? There's got to be a way up there. That's interesting. I mean, this is just if you need to barricade yourself in, dude, this is it. Only one way up, an extremely difficult stairway to push as well. And then you can still filter them to just right there. And no way for anybody to get to you besides jumping from this. Let's see how to get here. That's what I, that's what I thought. Let's see what the bottom floor looks like at least. Interesting. Multiple ways up. Two different parts or the same? The same, I think, right? Yeah, the same. Okay. Just two stairways right next to each other. And then there's no roof access here. Another interesting choice. No roof access. So it's just the ladder on the outside that gives you access. <clears throat> What's the... There, right? That's not even the building that I was talking about. So... I mean, this roof is solid. There's no way to get up here either besides, um, is there a ladder? There's a zip. That's it. This is like one of the second, I think it's the second or third time that there's a, a, like a powerful roof with no way to it except a zip or jumping from another roof. Okay. What about this? There's got to be a way up here besides the rooftops. No. Here we go. So just ground to a uh, roof and it's super risky what about one floor down playable no this is the one that it was only ground floor or is it not even it's not even playable interesting i think they're blocking roof access some purpose right now for zombies maybe but i mean i don't i don't think so I think the only way is just that ladder or these roofs, which this this spot is not like unbelievably strong just because if there is somebody right there, they can easily probably laser you. It's going to be difficult for you if you're sniping to get a quick snipe off without having like a perfect teddy on it where you can just crouch spam that that's still obviously the spot, but this spot is not bad. Not bad at all. <clears throat> also, if you wanted to, you could just like prox this Moving here. prox that Moving and now here. you have control of basically these three rooftops and this and nobody can get up to you there's only two ways up so you're controlling three different yeah i don't think you can get there you have like a nice little uh nice little circle of things that you can control only two ways up it's solid like i said it's nowhere near as strong as that but it's still pretty good tell me if you find any art Most likely just, uh, here's our PUBG warehouse again. El Masra building. Do we already explore this? 
big open warehouse probably a fair amount of loot can you snake on keyboard and mouse yeah i just don't ever do it i hate snaking i heard that snaking got nerfed a little bit which i'm happy with like i just don't not a fan of it at all i would much rather crouch spam <clears throat> but you can't crouch spam they nerfed crouch spamming so i guess i'm gonna have to learn how to snake if it didn't get nerfed need to get the expel yeah i know i'm on my way i got time <clears throat> okay so the last time we checked out resort and port resort is holdable i repeat is holdable in quads everybody needs to run prox mines there's eight ways up but once again if you're coordinated you can definitely hold it and there's nothing even close to as strong as it anywhere near definitely a, a positive one obviously you have to be a psycho to even attempt to hold it in solos so the next best building is right here if you're Over playing here. solos that's the building to go to you these look like decent like looting spots first and second floor definitely not roof you're gonna want to get off roof as fast as possible but um solos this building is strong i believe there's only a stairway up that's it like a three-story with roof access this building uh not it you can get smoke from 100 different ways even in duos and whatnot and these are just kind of like regain buildings out here this is hard hat probably fun to run around in and fight but it, you're not going to want to be there long and port the the best building that we have in the game thus far resides in port and it is right here dogs the infested stronghold building it is the tallest building in all of port dead center with one way up and that's a ladder on the outside <laughs> it's so it's so broken I, like i said i don't i don't know if we've ever i can't say ever but as far as like a building that's like this where it's not like a a prison um or an atc or something like that besides those obvious outliers this might be the strongest building we've ever had a huge roof that you can run across the entire thing with only a ladder up ridiculous and it's going to take them forever to climb that ladder as well two proxes will be more than enough to hold that down two proxes yeah and you have free reign up there you can get knocked get air striked run to the other side you're chilling man unbelievably strong also right here there is roof 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 with only two ways up ladder ground of roof ladder ground to roof that's it other than that there's no way to access these roofs so you can do two proxes and then have a 360 degree especially if there is somebody up there that you got to deal with this is probably one of the better ones to do uh, other than that all pretty solid buildings with enough detail enough hardcover throughout the rest of it to make this a really really fun landing spot i could definitely see this being the landing spot that we go day one especially if it's like a plane like right down the middle like this we're probably going to go uh seaport district especially if it's in zone um let's go over here but yeah today is just tier one this map this part of the map looks dope dude i'm pretty excited for it honestly if they're gonna bring in prestige tiering system no i think ranks uh 55 is gonna be it this part of the map looks pretty insane uh this is an el Mazar building this this is a stronghold building if you're not familiar with it, it should be don't really need to go through that we kind of know what that is This gives me PUBG vibes for sure, dude. PUBG vibes for sure. Okay, let's start from the bottom floor. How many ways up? Obviously, there's a second floor entrance from uh, outside. Ooh. Heck yeah. Buildings are so unique, man. I, I, I keep saying that, but we have not had buildings that look like this. What? Oh. 
We have not had buildings that look like this. <clears throat> not a ton of recycled Almazer buildings either. The first one that we saw today, yeah, recycled Almazer building, but I think total out of the... I'm just I'm just giving you a rough, rough guesstimates here. We'll say total we've looked at probably three, four hundred buildings. I would say that there's maybe twenty-five recycled. That's an that's an impressive percentage. This building looks dope. Not I mean it's not the most holdable. <sighs> yeah, second floor access. What in the world's going on over here, dude? Some guy's not having a good time. Second floor. You could definitely hold this in solos. Definitely could, but it's not going to be your most optimal. What I'm really interested in this is this. See if we can find a spot. I do like the little tunnel. That slow looting back or just zombies. No, no, this is uh, this is just zombies looting. Just zombies looting. If this is what you're talking about. That's a terminus jam. I bet is they're sitting pretty on a cache of equipment too. Take out these sniper a-holes before they get any ideas. Okay, so we got a couple ways to get to what looks like second floor here. Is there a basement? Love it, dude. What is this? Like a uh, like a makeshift resistance bar uh, barracks, pretty much. Some freedom fighters in here, dude. <clears throat> I think there's multiple of these buildings. Yeah, yeah. So I think there's another one in Millie. Which would make sense if I called it a barracks. Some old abandoned warehouse that did who knows what. I think we're up to second floor here. Yeah. I entered over here through the little tunnel. I'm just backtracking. Yep. <sighs> A unique space. Once again, we've not had anything that was like this. Now I need to figure out the way to the roof. How many ways and where are we? I think this is the other. Yeah, yeah. Pretty sick though. Obviously running on this in uh, in solos is gonna be extremely nerve-wracking. I believe the stairs are on the outside of the building if I had to guess Yeah, here we go. Is this the same? Wait Okay, I was already there making just making sure that it wasn't another part that I hadn't seen before So far, this is the only way up to third floor No Okay, that's what I thought Two ways up so far. Looks kind of similar. Nice. Nice. Dude, definitely PUBG vibes. Uh, what the? What's going on here, man? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, more PUBG vibes. This looks like the pipeline place or whatever where I got jump scared by the clown. If you guys remember that mm -mm, by four earth. Okay, where is this so I can figure out? So we got three ways up. Got it. Three ways up to third floor or even apex. Really? Someone actually thought about this map, right? So there's obviously uh, very clearly a lot of thought that went into this four so we got four ways up to third so far so i mean if we're just doing the math it's holdable in duos technically It'd be very difficult to know where the explosions are coming from but at least you can kind of pick a side and see okay there's roof access here's the initial way we came up what's over here just say vantage point yep to really nothing though like yeah this is sick but like only end games are gonna matter as far as like that little spot to be able to peek and shoot so now we have one way to the roof one way i swear dude if there's only one way 
I will be so happy. <laughs> Anytime that that's the case, I'll be so happy. The Cartman, who was it? If I could say donkey balls to my teacher, I would be so happy. Oh, here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, <laughs> let's go, dude. Merry Christmas. Um, Really? Yeah, that's definitely... You can definitely jump up there. Uh, and up here. Okay, fair enough. A lot more than one way. But I think we're still at four, by the way. I think we're still at four. So there'd be no point in holding third floor here. You're definitely going to want roof. You can shoot into third pretty easily. You have the one way up on this side. Makes it pretty easy to defend. You pretty much have to commit to the uh, defense of this side. And most likely, I'd just play up here. This is definitely going to be the spot to play. Yeah, you could over peak a little bit, but you don't want to get screwed over. Okay, so one prox on the other side. There's a zip in the middle, right? Yes, zip. And then you can the jump up right here. I guess I got shot at from right there and skipped over it, but here's the jump up. And then the fourth way is right here. Definitely a way up. Dope. That's pretty sick. That is going to be awesome, by the way. How do we get here? How do we... Okay. Inside. Probably stairwell right here. Yep. And then another ramp, most likely. There we go. Pretty sick, dudes. Pretty sick. Obviously, this is an extremely strong spot up there, but not holdable in solos, really. But that's okay. Because we don't even want to hold that in solos. We want to hold this. Yes. Uh, no, Carp. I'm pretty sure we're getting different lighting for sure. No way. Holy, dude. We found the spot. We found the spot. <laughs> yes this is definitely gonna be the spot that we're just like shooting at everything that moves when we're learning our snipers this is it and obviously you can not if you're playing this building you have to be so conscious of anybody trying to climb up this because you will get smoked this is awesome i love it i love it so yeah four ways up to the top of this definitely defendable in duos and up still i mean unique you know be pretty sick i like it overall for sure this is a dope part of the map we can run back and this i think this is quite a bit to explore but we have how much time left on this where's the time oh 30 minutes we're chilling dude let's keep moving up dudes you're gonna be able to kind of go from one spot to the other pretty quickly here too yeah. yeah i bet you could go from this roof you could jump up there jump up here you could go from the ground right here to the top of that very quickly lots of uh room for maneuverability yes dudes there's no hard cover up here like i understand but it will be kind of fun nonetheless <laughs> uh, warehouse warehouse let's go check inside this place I like it though. I mean, it's not it's not a copy and paste warehouse. 
a clear second story that you can fight from. I'm sure you can get up there too from multiple different ways. Yeah. Pretty dope. I like it. So not, it's not a building that you're going to want to hold a ton, but it's definitely one that you're going to want to fight in. Unique fights can happen there. No lethal. I got to get 250 kills with this thing, by the way. Okay, let's check this one out. Similar, maybe? Like an open concept. It's like only one way to second floor so far. Ah. Okay. Solid though. I mean, you go pretty quickly on these as well. What's the best way to get this? Consistently. I don't want to sit there day one where we get it down and I'm sitting here fumbling through it. Let's get that mechanic down at least. I feel like you definitely do need to be near the base. The base. There it is. <clears throat> That was totally on purpose. They're kind of, they're kind of like finicky. Yeah, they're a little finicky. That seems to be the best way. You just put yourself right in front of it. Jump. Boom. You have to like stand right here. Okay, last one. Consistent like Apex. Claymoreable. Prox mineable right here. Can't claymore this, but you can definitely prox mine right there. Bro, what in the world? Well, I'll be back, I guess, to explore that later. I'm not trying to get shot when I don't even have a gun. Hardcover, something better than nothing, you know? One of those things. Something better than nothing. I don't think I can get in here. Yeah. We'll work on over to Millie base. That stinks. Because there's no way even to jump on top of these buildings. To be able to kind of see what it looks like. No way. Let's go over here then. Nice open concept. <laughs> uh -uh. Just breaking it down, dude. Just breaking her down. Give me some kills. I'm I'm interested to see how the loot is gonna be on like that big building over there, you know? How are they gonna lay it all out? Dope. We got more PUBG vibes here. Ooh, okay. I was thinking that those ladders were the only way up, but definitely not. Whoa, okay. Wait, even better. It gets even better. And I think this is the only way up here, if I'm not mistaken. It is. We got one ladder and then a zip. I wonder if there's a ground to floor over here. Okay, there is more than one way up. Fair. Besides the zip, we're excluding the zips right now because if you're going to be up here fighting, the zip is probably not going to be the first thing you're worried about because you're going to be, you should be aware and hopefully have the advantage in the fight. 
if somebody does oh wait here we go wow from ground never mind i was thinking that this was way stronger than it was if it did not have this i mean this is still definitely holdable in um in duos but solos not really you're gonna have to pick it'd be too risky you could scatter mine that maybe scatter mine th actually scatter mining this would probably be a better play and then you prox that and prox that while holding right here this area might be your only play and then as far as like how we're gonna prox mine for these zips you're not gonna want to prox at the end you want to prox right in the ledges that's definitely the play prox the ledges hopefully they don't go too far past it though you know yeah, you have to be literally touching it. What about this one? Is it actually better to... Hmm, there might be a better way to do it then. You just run up to it and like look at it almost. That's the way. <laughs> I was thinking just get in front of it and jump, but... That's the much more consistent. You zoom, dude. <laughs> when you jump off, you go flying. Multiple circles confirmed? I mean, hopefully not. I don't think it was that good of an idea. Remove the rails. Maybe, dank. Uh -oh, will I still run smoke? I don't know. I think smokes are still... They're always going to have a place, dude. Oh, this building's nice. Smokes are always going to have a place. Okay, okay. It's less strong than I thought it was. But one prox there. You have a nice... Oh, never mind. This is not a nice little airstrike building. You have to be in here. You can still defend that pretty easily, though. As soon as you hear the, uh, the clay go off, you can just sit right here and hold. Outside stairs as well, and a zip, and an outside ladder. Okay, never mind. Lots of ways up. Lots of ways up. Most of these buildings are... A lot more defendable in duos than solos. Is that the exact same building? It is. These two are the exact same. Both still strong though. Like I would, if I was playing this in solos, you gotta go. You gotta ignore the zips. Has to be inside stairs, obviously. And probably ladder. Yeah, I would say second story ladder. How do they get here? This to jump up. Or just jump out from the second floor. Yeah. And then you have to play right here. So you can hear the stairs. You're not going to be able to prox it. But you should be able to hear it, I would imagine. And then just watch that. And then this would be your uh, your hardcover from everything. Should be able to always hear stairs. So it's still playable in solos. I like it. It's still playable. You just have to sacrifice your ability to hold all of it. Which is fine. Most likely you're going to be able to hear somebody pushing these stairs. And if I'm pushing a building like this, the stairs is the last, the outside stairs is the last thing that I want to push. Because once you're right, once you're right here, you are fully committed. And they're most likely going to hear you. They peek over, like good luck getting out of it. I guess you book it inside, but then you have more problems. What do we got here? Another one of these. Tons of, uh, tons of movement though. And being able to get to second floor without having to take the most obvious way. It's kind of nice. We've had, we've had warehouses like this. I think. Kinda. What about covert brutes? They won't be in the game. And not, they won't be in Warzone. If they are, then it will be vital to uh, pick buildings where you can defend everything with proxies and scatters. But I'm pretty sure they said that they're not going to be in Warzone. That it's only going to be the tactical knee pads or whatever they're called. It's like a base ability almost. All 
I already looked at that. Okay. That's, a, a, once again, another super dope, unique part of the map, man. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Stormy, you absolute savage, dude. Are you kidding me right now? I'm a little behind as well. I got to catch up. Stormy, waltzing in, dropping the 10 bomb, dude. Grateful for you always, Stormy. Thank you for the super generous 10. You're dope, you're dope, you're dope. Huge W, man. If you got a gift from Stormy, please say thank you. The man's an absolute savage. Super grateful, man. Much love, much love. And we got uh, Tony P. Gamer with a 32. Thank you for the 32, homie. Working on three years. We got Stu. Thank you for the 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got uh, Levinock. Thank you for the two, 23 months, almost two years. You're dope, man. You guys are, you guys are awesome. Thank you for the support. Let's go. It has, Stormy. Hope yours has been as well. Hopefully you've been killing it and whatever you're doing. Life's been life's been treating you well. Freaking better, man. What do you think about the number of players on this map? Well, here's the thing. I I don't care about getting 30 kills. I care about winning. So for me, the number of players is not a big deal at all. If we're getting 100 to 120, that's totally fine, man totally fine all that means is people are going to be more looted up and hopefully if people play their lives and not everybody lands in one spot then uh, i haven't even explored this this is going to be nuts dude uh, then um there'll be a lot better mid to end games so i i don't care at all about the lower number of players 100 to 120 is fine just more people need to play for the win that's it This is pop off power, right? The, the tier two version, I guess. Any roof? I mean, we can definitely jump here. Not, I mean, not a super strong. Oh yes. Bring it. Oh, I'm gonna kill some of these dudes before I get up in my spot here. We might have, we might have just found it, man. We might have just found it. <laughs> just looking like Dave Chappelle in the Chappelle show crawling up out of there, dude. <clears throat> this is the map that I use for Warzone, dude. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> what do I feel about zombies compared to normal? I mean, this is... I have not really enjoyed zombies in a long long time and i'm enjoying this like now obviously we're exploring the map but okay i mean this is definitely different than any of the cranes whatever you want to call them that we've had so far i would definitely try to place both of the clays right here you don't want to give this spot up even though if you can keep somebody right here they're screwed like if there's anybody anywhere they can't do anything this is obviously the spot that you're going to want to make sure nobody gets to. If somebody gets here, you are in trouble now. Because now they don't really have to worry about anybody besides over there. And then they can just go right here. They could get pinched, yeah. But So I would say double the clays down there. If they make it somehow and live, double right here. And you kind of have to hold it. Oh, no, dude no how much better it could have been how much better it could have been dang it what up jimbo what if they can airstrike you well now this is not near as good as i thought it was going to be man i thought that this was about to be the most op spot in the entire map but not the case rip well now i'm a little disappointed think it'll be unlocked on full map i hope i hope that'd be amazing because if you can get in this thing man oh my gosh is there windows potentially yeah yeah if you can shoot out those windows this will be a god spot yeah this will be a god spot 100 percent um i can go into melee base a little bit here check the bridge there's uh 
mercs there. I'm not trying to get domed. Uh, this is all part of the ground war map, I believe. All part of the ground war map. Let's see. Entering from the west side. What's it look like over here? Map is big, yeah. I mean, I think that they said that Almazra was bigger, but Almazra is so empty in a lot of the areas of the map. This is just like so detailed that it feels so big because there's so much to kind of explore, you know? So many different ins and outs to the buildings that we're in. This is like a military like training thing where you jump up on these. barracks obviously what kind of looting do we have i think there's three stairways in these should be a fair amount of loot but not really holdable maybe trios i would say is probably with trios and up you could hold these hold on Yeah, trio's and up. This this looks like a little safe room. Well, I guess not really. You're still kind of could be screwed. Probably good loot though. Same layout. Yeah, same layout. Stairs. Okay, we do have roof access here. Stairs. If you want to play roofs, you could go. Uh, one person in each one of these but obviously getting back and forth would not be the best uh, this is probably not going to be a spot i feel like we'll ever hold let's see well is there anything stronger to the south i don't know man i don't know because it's, it's not really going to be very defendable you it's not like the the prom one the most comparable buildings that we have are the prom buildings east and west prom but um there weren't so many ways in you know there's so many ways in here that trying to just hold this your best bet would just be to like maybe only hold one side but yeah i don't really like it i don't really like it i don't see it as a very good option to hold maybe those and Moving you here. cancel that <sighs> you send it over here prox here. one prox on top of each one of these ladders just so you know if there's somebody Moving over here. here and it has to be um one person whose proxes are not on this building uh, so that way if he gets a hit rag he's not thinking is it over there is it under is it over there is it under he knows like hey i got a prox it's south side we gotta watch out other than that i would say holding maybe having two hold third floor and then you have to split up this is only like a quad strat you're not gonna be able to do this anything else you need your proxies probably probably right here maybe to get some uh, some sneaky hits and then obviously you have to hold the center one this is gonna be a very easy one to hold though just one right there and then somebody can just sit here and laser right there i don't think you can make this jump can okay and then you have this ladder or sorry this stairs over here so once again Moving here. quads is probably your only shot at holding this down everybody has to be pretty coordinated on where they're putting their proxies and then like i said somebody who does not have their proxies underneath has to have their proxies on the ladders over there so if they get a hit they know we could get pushed from the top and then you need to send people up here and defend it it kind of sounds like a nightmare to me to be honest I'm just thinking of if there's any sort of rotation like melee you want to hold something but you don't want to hold the hills yet what are you going to hold probably that 
until you take this and then eventually that and then roll into the hills or just get on over to this that's probably gonna be the play where is the nearest i should probably get back to the xville okay we'll we'll start in melee next time we'll start in melee next time but i i just i don't like the barracks for holding it does not sound very fun it's doable but once again it's going to require a ton of uh coordination and communication which we'll have <clears throat> but won't be um very easy to pull off and we'll make mistakes i'm sure make a couple mistakes until we figure it out you know uh, maybe that's why they give us the scatter because there's so many different ways up yeah i mean i i can imagine that souls on this map is gonna be nuts <laughs> yeah souls is gonna be nuts I can't wait for those, dude. Uh, no, Glenn. It seems that we have few fights because map is so big. No, I wouldn't worry about that, dude. Wouldn't worry about that. I'm sure they'll add more players eventually. But I'm much more concerned with stable servers especially early on like that's such a more important thing than having 150 players in the lobby is not crashing five times a day <clears throat> and having st i mean still like if there's a hundred let's say there's 110 players whatever 120 most likely for quads there if there's not a ton of fighting early on that just means there's better mid and end games that's it doesn't mean that just because you don't drop 40 kills day one people will get more and more kills as it goes but stable servers better mid to end games is uh gonna be the focus i think hopefully the majority of players won't be worried about holding all of that or what or about better mid to end morning soldier this is the new map yeah yeah oh, well, about player count people got to get over it dude uh, I, I, I realized that the the vast majority of people need to get over it they're not everybody's mutex you know that's kind of the example that i like to give not everyone's mutex everyone wants to be so you think that you can just hop in and drop 30 bombs all day long you're not you're not mumu hang it up and enjoy the br for what it is a br I hear you. recap recap we did basically this entire area and then we started in military base we're gonna continue on and explore all of military base i think this time regardless this building is nuts <laughs> this building is nuts it's uh oh, i can show real quick Okay, regardless, this building, dope. Roof access throughout this entire thing, four ways up. One, two, three, four. So more than holdable in duos and super, super strong. Obviously you have to pay attention to somebody climbing up this because it's kind of broke good. Um, oh, I can't zoom in. The buildings to hold over here, like this is all pretty balanced, honestly. It's all like, kind of spread out loot open concept warehouses two stories nothing crazy same thing over there open concept one stories i don't know what that's gonna be yet the um i can't even see it like the mercenary stronghold buildings no clue i would assume it's probably a decent building for loot but probably not really one that you want to hold okay we're we're going all of milli base this time No clue what Superstore is on the map. Everybody keeps asking that, but I don't know. I would imagine somewhere in the middle of the map that I have not explored yet. Hey, let's go, Nav. It's all you, homie. Uh, good FPS. It depends on what your um, resolution that you play on is, Goaded. I think that if you're going to play on uh, 1440p... 120 fps is more than enough dude 1440 is such a game changer 
But if you're on 1080, then I would probably shoot for like 160, 170. But like I said, for me, I'm at what one anywhere from 160 to 120 right now at 1440 with a bunch of fil like filters on. Um, I have a sharpening filter. Oh, this is a shoot house or the gunfighting map. It looks like not really, but it looks similar. This is dope. Uh, with Fidel Cass and a sharpening filter, my game looks ridiculous, I feel. 120, I'm more than happy with. That's a pretty sick little fighting arena here, dude. I like it. Up top as well. <laughs> the instructors are up here watching everything. Pretty sick. So we started over there. I like a lot of this for the uh, just the fights that are going to happen here are going to be dope. <coughs> We've been okay eluding around the outside. That. Let's see. Who can see you here? Oh, I didn't even know there was this. Yeah, this is probably not something that you're going to want to hold too, uh, too much. You're not even really going to want to hold that because you can get on the roof here. And if you guys have played Ground War here, you kind of know. I think in Ground War, this is one of the better spots. If I remember correctly. Uh, Miss Emily, thank you for the two years. Let's go, yo. Appreciate you. The D point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. I mean, this spot up here is solid just because there's only one way up, but you're really not safe from much. You have this ladder, but people can get height on you from there. They can get height on you from there over here. Obviously, it would take a pretty skilled sniper to be able to really smoke you from what? 150. I don't even know if you could get one shot. So this spot will definitely be pretty solid, I think. But you could get screwed from one of these because I'm, I'm pretty sure they can jump to you easily. Let's see. We checked the barracks last time because I don't really want to play the barracks. We could if we have to and we'll mess around with it. I think we'll end right there. Let's go this way. This thing's pretty sick. I wonder how high you can get up there. Ooh, and we have that. Nice. Give us a different perspective. I'm down. Well, that's a no. Oh, yeah, we can. I guess there was one right there, too. How high can we get? Nice, nice. No, I was hoping. Uh, okay, well, this is as high as you can get. Imagine if you could get up there. Actually, you probably could. Hold on. We got to now. This is the spot. <laughs> this is the spot, dudes. <laughs> This would actually be a pretty sick spot at some point, though. Um, I believe we've seen a couple of these warehouses. Are these the same layout? Negative. We've seen a couple of these, though. Outside stairs. Yeah, not, not super strong. Hopefully an okay amount of loot. hundred different ways into first floor there how many into second i mean still defendable though from second floor is the main thing and a ladder no this okay okay yeah okay fair enough people are definitely going to be coming from over there i mean this this warehouse is way better than the other one though and some de decent roof access i'll take it not too shabby. Oh, yes. This building is going to be dope. 
this is somebody was asking earlier about um the new like a fire station how come they can't put a fire station in? how come they can't put a fire station this is the fire station and here is the ladder dude the ladder of death uh -uh. <laughs> the ladder's kd in warzone one is undefeated hopefully it's a little bit better now i'm testing it let's risk a couple self reses here Maybe they actually worked on it a little bit. I mean, I'm able to pull my shoot every time. Let's go, dudes. They fixed it. The, the Verdance fire pole or fire pole fire ladders were literally undefeated. I've died so many times to those. Johnny doing things. Thank you for the 27 months in the prime. Much love to you, my dog. Let's go. <laughs> looks better. Looks better. Yeah, I can I can pull it right away. Okay. I think this is gonna be a much better spot to hold. <laughs> also. Oh, this is one million percent. In solos, you're not gonna prox the bottom of the ladder at all. You're gonna be in here the entire time. The two places you're going to are right Move there and right here, probably. I think you have to allow somebody. Yeah, there's just there's four ways up. You have right there technically three i guess so that outside ladder from ground to roof i guess this doorway and then that outside stairwell which i believe is from the ground yes so three ways maybe you could scatter it put a scatter right here so then you're kind of holding it and then a prox mine there prox mine there because they're a little bit closer maybe you want to kill them if they get to that point but and then a scatter there. It's definitely Cancel holdable that. in solos. I said, you're not, who cares? If they decide to climb this ladder, that's on them. Probably not the uh, a player you need to worry about at all. One of the better spots in um, all of Millie, for sure. I mean, it has height on pretty much everything besides the warehouses out there, which I'm excited to get to those. Those are definitely good. But yeah, this is the spot, dudes. This is the spot, easily near dead center holdable in solos heck yeah yeah i i love i can't can't say it enough i love the movement in this game it just feels like a playground so smooth is there really only one way up to second I guess from inside, but I know there's more outside. Okay, outside stairs. So I guess there's only two ways up, unless there's one on the outside that I'm... Three. And once again, I'm not really concerned with these, uh, these horizontal zips. If you are going to have something to defend it... I guess it would have to be like right there. You'd have to throw away a prox. Oh, okay. Might be, dude. The warehouse is definitely not bad, though. It's definitely not bad. If you have to play it, you definitely could. Let's just go all the way around. What up, Peanut? Yo, she calls me dog. Let's go, baby. Appreciate the gifted. Hope you're having a good one, my man. You're dope. You're dope. You're dope. The Treyarch help build the map? I, I don't think so. Much love, Yanni. The scatters disappear over time? I didn't know that. Okay. So I guess you just have to have that timer in your head then. And consistently throw them. Okay, we're going here. Any potential favorite buildings? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you right now. The best building in the game is right here. That, that I found so far. The infested stronghold on Seaport District is ridiculously strong. There's one way up and it's a 30 foot ladder. Other than that, you can run across the entire roof. And it's it's the middle of Seaport and the highest building around. Also, there's L buildings right here and right here. Both have, well, this one only has one way up, which is a center staircase that you can just throw two prox mines down one floor under and you have a space to hide from airstrikes. And then this one has only that middle staircase and a zip to this building, I think. 
one of the two regardless extremely strong both of those are i think are the two strongest or the three strongest two types of buildings that i've found so far redonkulously strong this is kind of cool oh this is sub base got it this is sub base this is a uh, a multiplayer map except they added this this isn't in sub base so they added a roof to sub base if there's no stairs if there's no stairs oh dang it dude could you imagine roof yeah stairs yeah okay this is this is still really really strong how many ways up here okay I'm trying to figure out how to hold this. Because, I mean, that seems pretty dope, dude. Uh, thing is, look where we're at, you know? So I'm sitting here thinking, oh, how can we hold this? How can we hold this? The chances of us holding this are probably one in a thousand. But pretty dope. One way up there. You could just go simply one and one and just kind of play in here but now probably not the play you're gonna want to control a floor under and this entire thing which isn't really doable that's pretty sick though i wish they added this in sub base how much better do you think sub base would be <clears throat> if they had that i didn't even see this another way up still part of sub base Possibly, Dank. Possibly. Nice little playable area back here. What's this looking like? Oh, I already looked at that. Pretty dope, though. I wish... I do wish that... I guess it makes sense because there is water in sub-base, so it's limited on where they could put that. But I just, I just love sub-base so much. I wish that they put it right dead center. But it makes sense. It's still a pretty sick spot to fight in. I have no complaints there at all. It's pretty dope. I know there's a way up here. Yo, curls. Think of the three months, Doc. Much love, much love. Let's go. When's Warzone 3 releasing? December 6th, I believe. Uh, I mean, fightable. Uh, nothing super strong in this area of the map that you're just like... Once you loot everything besides fire, uh, I guess the goal of kind of this area of the map, like let's say the fight path is uh, on the low side and you want to go all the way to Millie. Where's the buy stations? Buy station out there. Is that it? Oh, buy station over there. Okay. Yeah, I, I would say the goal, like even if you landed, let's say you land in sub base, you lit up all of sub base, maybe a few of these warehouses, yada yada get to the buy station that's next to the zip you're gonna want to hold fire if, if this is in zone right here fires the play of one million percent it's just it's too Take strong away. not to hold <clears throat> but i'm sure you can find some pretty cool um looting routes here it reminds me of PUBG, like uh the shipment containers oh what do we got here and we got a mountain too expect there to be more buys yeah i would imagine in warzone there'll probably be more buys first map without an airport i don't know good call i don't know about almazra i don't think almazra had an airport oh no it did that just tells you how much i played it <laughs> i don't even know not off the top of my head okay let's check the uh high hill here what do we got going on Okay, I finally got the 50 kills. Now, does anybody know all I have to do is get 100 kills and extract with this to get gold? Will, do I have to like go back out and then go back in to proc that or will it just start counting? Much love, Earn. Rip ATC domination. Oh, I mean, there may be something in here, dude. Just wait. Okay, open concept warehouses. This is pretty sick, dude. 
this is a way outside part of the map oh this is the old school uh yeah 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 this is the old school um modern warfare 2 map i forget exactly what it was called but it was dope where they had smoke coming up from the silos what the oh i like this bro this is nuts there's a buy station up here and everything Okay, nice. Sick. We're chilling then. <clears throat> Bro, this is pretty dope, man. Look at these, some huge antennas. Yeah. How far outside can we play here? That's the question. Now, I mean, this, this right here gives me like the old school Verdance vibes. Playing on the edge of the rocks, except there's not like a huge mountain that we can play on, unfortunately. Bro, screw off all of you. Rip. <clears throat> that would be sick. Now, you can play on the back side of that, though, but... <laughs> I mean, this is, uh, this is among one of the most unique and coolest POIs that we've had, like, edge, edge of the map that you would just kind of forget about normally, besides prison. This is dope looking. Did somebody just not complete this? That's annoying. Gosh, screw off all of you. Where's the buy station here? I mean, this is definitely going to be one of the best buy stations in the game, by the way. This is definitely going to be one of the best buy stations if it stays. It's going to be so hard to be snuck up on. Nobody sees you, especially flying over this with a heli. Oh, dude. This is sick. <clears throat> this is sick. If it's in zone at all, this is probably going to be one of the buy stations that we're going to try to utilize a ton. Why not? Maybe I get a ray gun. An old school M4? Good, dude. Screw off. Daisy vibes 100%. I feel like they did take a lot of inspiration from Daisy and PUBG with these maps, you know? Daisy and PUBG over and over and over again. This is playable, right? Should be. Yeah. Not strong, but playable. see this thing i think this is the exact same building that i said was strong should be a ladder right over here yeah this is gonna be a good building then not gonna be much taller than it on this side of the map besides up the hill but if you do need to stay alive for any length of time this is gonna be one of the better spots i'd say on this area so just because there's no way up besides oh ah, okay okay i stand corrected still more than playable but I, I like this, dude. This, I feel like this is... I guess technically it's part of the military base, but some of the most detail on the outside of the map that we've really ever had. Usually on the outskirts of the map, there's nothing but rolling hills and nothing. The throwing knife will carry over the one hit. Please no. Once again, let's hope they're not as incompetent as Infinity Ward. Infinity Ward has no clue what they're doing. 
when it comes to a BR. They had a lot of strengths. Making a BR is not one. How many ways up? These buildings are pretty sick. Are these guys still chasing me? I mean, really, you could just one prox it right there. You don't have to prox both. Could you need another one right there? Is there stairs? Yep. I mean, this is a duo spot for sure. This is a duo spot. And you got to worry about your uh, roof. But you do have a spot underneath for... Um, for airstrikes play roof for the most part snipe at everything that moves you get airstrike just jump down i think there's that's what like three or four ways you have to defend and you have to make sure that there's nobody coming in from this side as well should be stairs there yeah that's it i think it's a sneaky spot is there a way on the roof? I feel like there is. Maybe on the back side. No, there's not. Okay. Lumber vibes? That building? Yeah, yeah, yeah I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Now this warehouse is interesting. This one's interesting. I'm pretty sure you can shoot through all of these like railings, so you're not really gonna want to like play up here or anything. But that room, I wonder if there's the stairs inside it. It'd be very difficult to push this. No. Worst case scenario, you could play this. But ideally, you're gonna want to be on the roof. Only two ways up, I believe. Obviously, you have to watch your entire back. A lot to watch there. But door there, ladder there, and you're chilling. What's up, dude? You can go. Oh, shoot. We're going up. I was thinking, like, man, what if it's like. The circle is like uh, this, right? Let's say that we're at circle six right here. Where would you want to be? I was thinking maybe play the roof of that warehouse. Then I turn around. There's a freaking church up here. You're not going to get snuck up on. Strong spot. I think we started there one time when we uh, were looking at everything. That was just kind of like a, a mess spot. Better something than nothing, but nothing cool. The church looks interesting. And you can jump to high church. Let's go, dude. That hill's it. Comports are dead bolt actual. Systems have gone crazy on all aircraft and hangar F. And my dodgy knee's playing up again. Hola, mama. How many ways up? Joe, you can just jump straight up from the uh, the ground. Looks like from a hundred different ways. Not very strong then. Not a spot we're going to want to hold, that's for sure. Much prefer the hill. <clears throat> Hill's definitely got some strengths to him. Once again, it's going to be tough to get snuck up on from here, dude. Uh, obviously, you would need... Uh, It'd be like hill to church to here. You'd be able to control a good chunk of the map without having to deal with any rotations from melee base. And I doubt there's many, many people there. And if there are, you should have the advantage in all the fights, I'd imagine. I've done all tier one. Uh -uh. So I guess before I leave, I'll go over what I think is going to be my landing spots and the uh, the favorites. Well, and let me make sure that I get the 50 kills here. But let me go over the tier ones. Like I said, we were just looking mainly for two spots on the opposite side of the map that I can most likely land at, get a loadie, 
and be chilling in solos and then find a spot that I can hold. I think the two spots that I would like to hold are going to be this spot. I feel like there's just tons of loot here and the buy station that is right there is just super, super strong. So let's say it would be like a, a flight path right here down the middle. There's most likely not gonna be a lot of people that stretch all the way out here. So you could easily get run through all of these buildings. So there's a buy station in the dead center or right there. This building is one of the strongest in the entire spot or this one. Both of them are defendable solo easily. The strongest buildings, one of the, some of the strongest buildings in the game are these L buildings, both of them. If you get your loady, get looted up and it's a Northern circle like this, you can easily sit in either one of those and be chilling for a long, long time, dude. This is going to be a super strong spot in duos and up. Only four ways up. And other than that, these buildings are playable. Bro. These buildings are playable in solos. Four ways up. Yeah, four ways up or I guess three and then one across, but still doable in solos. And I haven't even gone over rotations, but just places where you can loot. You can loot any of this. There's so much detail in all the buildings that you'll find your like i guess your your routes pretty pretty quickly on but route two buy station two power position and hold easy to do the military base basically everything here comes down to if you want to hold millie the fire station it, loot whatever but as soon as you can get to the fire station especially in solos and duos duos as well is going to be super strong this is going to be a, a heck of a buy station i love that one of the safest ones that I've seen. And then the hills are going to be very, very strong as well. And anytime that like, let's say this is a circle and you don't want to deal with Millie. Cause I was talking about this. I was like, I really do not want to hold these buildings. They are not very strong, not going to be easy to hold down or rotate out of either because of the lack of hardcover, the hills, this one, especially super strong. You can make a jump from here to the top church. All you have to do is have a couple people posted up on either side and you're not going to get snuck up on from, from anywhere. So this hill is really, really strong. I kind of just went over farms, nothing, uh, no one strong power position in it, but it's, it's unique and it'll be a pretty cool little fighting area. The canals add for something different as well. If you get caught out here, somebody at a power position here, jump in a canal, flank them. Kind of interesting the horse stables and like jump areas are going to be pretty sick kind of reminds it'd be a good gunfight map honestly and then this is holdable in duos and up uh, only two ways up on each side and has height on everything around it so duos and up this will be a strong strong spot so this is hands down hands down my favorite area of the map the uh like the mansion right there that i said reminds me of um hacienda in PUBG on miramar amazing Tons of detail throughout the map or the uh, the building. Very, very unique as well. Three stories with two ways, three ways to the roof. Two of them are next to each other. Stairway on this side, stairway on this side. Ladder right there is zip from here to here. So four technically, but if you're sitting on this side and so it's holdable in solos. You prox this side, prox this side as far as the stairs and you just sit here. You can't really explore. You could shatter mine underneath to kind of tell you and kind of give you a little bit of freedom, but it's still technically holdable in solos. And then there's like that underground path that allows you to go out here, out here, out here. It's sick. This uh, little building, I guess like a guest house on an island is dope. Holdable in solos, still has its weaknesses, but holdable. This is pretty dope. Uh, I don't know, I, I love this area of the map. It's one of the coolest, coolest areas I've ever seen. Nothing here is really strong as far as power positions go. It's more of like a, a decent looting area where you can get in good good gunfights. All the buildings are pretty balanced. Um, not one that's broke. Uh, I think it's this building that is the strongest one. It's a three-story with roof access, only one way up from second to third, and that's just a stairway. And this is another really strong one, but this has height, so I'd give this the, uh, the benefit of the doubt. Um interesting but I mean, it's like a cool place to to loot and fight but not a strong building where is it there's one more of these buildings somewhere but i forget where it is it's in here somewhere i believe it actually is this one where there's only one way up and it's a stairs inside three stories this building is ridiculously strong but you're weak to airstrikes 
if it ends like down here, you need control of this building and this one. <laughs> or you just have to have like four self reses because you're going to have to eat every single airstrike. Actually, I haven't really even explored the hills. I'll probably have to do that. But regardless, this building's strong. This building's probably stronger unless somebody has this. You have to airstrike them off over and over and over again. So if you could get rid of people's airstrikes and nobody has them, it's not going to get any better than that. Uh, all cool looting stuff no real super strong positions except this this is broken strong dude this and the seaport district are both insanely powerful buildings